Welcome to another awesome video. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We're going to crack this thing open. This is a Grace Digital Internet Radio from 2014, and it just died after about six years. So we're going to see if we can fix it. I know it's not the power brick, because on the back, the USB flash drive is still flashing like it's getting power. So the power brick's good, and we just don't get a response from the controls. So in order to get this thing open, the first thing I had to do was take off this speaker grill. Behind the speaker grill, there were uh, screws in each corner you could take out, and there were also two screws on one of the sides of the back facing the opposite direction. But then comes the real fun part. The front panel is sort of glued in. So you have to carefully work it out of there with the screwdriver, being careful not to chip the plastic and, you know, put enough pressure on it to uh, kind of get that glue to break free. I kind of messed up at the bottom there, got it a little scuffed, but if you just are very careful, you can make that happen and kind of wedged it open with a screwdriver. Eventually I got the front panel separated and once it breaks loose, there's a connector wire that goes near the top to the top knob. You can just disconnect that and then that lets you just sort of lay the whole front panel down and take a look at it. Before continuing the repair, I decided to reattach the speaker grill just so I don't accidentally puncture the speaker, you know, when I'm grabbing this thing. So now let's look at the inside. I found this very interesting. It's almost like a little Raspberry Pi and it is a computer. It's got, you know, connectors for the inputs and peripherals. It's got uh, a battery for the, uh, I guess, keep the memory in there. And it's got different layers of cards that are plugged into each other. The most interesting thing that surprised me was this USB port. It's got a USB port on the inside. It's not wired directly. That's the Wi-Fi card. And it just comes right out of there. Uh, so I guess you could plug in an Ethernet card or another Wi-Fi card which this actually turned out to be crucial to the fix, as we'll see in a minute. So the first thing I saw was, let me just try resetting the battery, because computers can remember when they're in a bad state. So I just pulled the battery out, put the battery back in, and reapplied power, and drum roll, please, I just got this white screen forever, which was better than no screen at all. And rebooting again, I got the Grace Digital logo. So it appears I was stuck in some sort of a boot loop, or you know, the thing just wasn't starting, but it was making progress. What I ended up doing uh, was replacing the battery. I took the battery out again. I happen to have one of these batteries. It's the same type of battery as in a motherboard or a garage door opener. And I rebooted a third time. And after that, it came up. And I thought that was really the end of it. That maybe, you know, I had seen a laptop, like a compact laptop in the early 90s that would not function without a good motherboard battery. But as it turns out, that wasn't the problem. Um, I got it all back together, everything was working, the whole system was working, and I checked the, the battery that I pulled out of there was measuring like, you know, 1.1 1. 1 volts out of 3, so I thought, okay, well, maybe that's the problem. So I let this thing run, but what I found was that, you know, during the night, it would reboot and hang, or it would, uh, you know, just, you know, it worked for a period of several hours, but it was always, it would never stay running. So uh, I went back in and, and found that the uh, network card was kind of heating up, so my ultimate solution was to do this, to put the USB network card in the back. Then it would run for a week. I had to boot it twice after I did this, but once it was up, it stayed up without any problems. So I don't know if the card itself is bad or the internal USB port. I tried putting a heat sink on there just to help dissipate the heat. And that did seem to help, but uh, the only drawback to this solution is the fact that I can't stick a flash drive in there, but I don't really use this thing much anymore. Speaking of which, we don't use this anymore because we discovered Volumio. If you haven't seen our other video on Volumio, it goes into a lot more depth and detail. It's got a bigger screen, runs on a Raspberry Pi. It's a lot more responsive user interface. But uh, anyway, that's about it. And maybe if you've got a Grace Digital uh, radio at home, you'd find this useful. Otherwise, uh, we'll uh, see you next time. We'll see you next time for another awesome video.